Hey you guys, jman 37 x bringing episode 26 of Epic Battle Fantasy V. Last time, we did a bunch of prep. I, I guess, it's not really prep, I'm not preparing for anything in particular. I'm just doing like, maintenance I guess, after the Lance fight. Um, since I didn't do any of the usual stuff that I was going to before the fight. And then we got another party member and we had to do a bunch of skill work and look at equips and all that stuff. Um, just, just a bunch of miscellaneous stuff mostly. This time, we're going to be exploring Greenwood. Collecting pretty much all the stuff that we can right now that's free. Um, and from there, we and also going to be doing some backtracking because I'm going to go collect the axe almost immediately. Uh, oh, the parents. I love Anna's parents. Alright. Um, you know, we just got here. I'm just going to leave the regular music on for now. Alright, so let's get this. See, we got another fabulous gloop fight here. I, I'm going to be skipping, skipping most of the fights for now. Uh, we'll probably do like a couple. Oh, this is where the target badge is. Okay. Uh, of course, very useful flare in general. Defense against bomb. I don't remember if it did that originally or not. Uh, okay. Heading to the tree. I think we have three copper keys. Yeah, we got three. Um, I'm not going to do the thing I did in the previous playthrough where I like avoided using the keys. Um, I think, yeah, actually, I think I already used, I already used the golden key, so obviously I'm not doing that. Okay, so let, let me just see what all we can get, because I actually don't remember. So we get that, we get the leafy hair clip, we can get a, uh, a card, some stats. What was the card we got? Um, increase summon damage by 1%, okay. Uh, which apparently does not reflect in the damage number that the summon says, because I just checked. Um, that said 680, but it still says 680, so, I don't know how exactly that buff is applied. It would be nice if it actually reflected in the damage that they say here, but it seems like it doesn't. Um, or is some rounding thing or something, I'm not sure. Okay, and lastly, it's a bow, okay. So, I, I think, I'm just gonna do all of them except the, the, the stat items, because the stat items aren't that interesting. Or the steroids. Uh, so we'll go ahead and take these three. So we've got another hat and another bow. Uh, let's look at the hat first. Oh, I haven't upgraded this yet. Let's do a couple levels into that. Um, another debuff booster. Can't see what else it does. Not immediately interesting. Like, I don't know what I was going to say there. The attack boost is notable for a hat, honestly. Especially at level three, that's pretty decent. But overall, not looking the most interesting. The deceased. This is not. This is non-elemental. It might have. Yeah, I think it was non-elemental before too, actually. Which the damage of non-elemental skills. Bad luck and magic defense debuff. Mainly bone pillar. That's a non-elemental um, attack. That, oh, it might stagger. No, I don't know if it has any interesting properties actually. But it's pretty high power. So it's solid damage. I think it has some side effect. I just don't remember what it is right now. Um, counters with normal attacks, or it could potentially counterattack with Bone Pillar, basically. Um, good stats. The magic attack isn't that useful for her, but it's not worthless. Um, <gasps> evade and accuracy buffs are always valuable. Um, and great resistances. So, as far as non-elemental weapons go, it's pretty solid. Minus 50. Uh, max here, which is good because that means that if you uh, Okay, well it doesn't so you can get this up to potentially minus 70 magic defense, which is quite strong <gasps> As well as a hundred percent chance of bad luck, so that's great. That's great capture chance helping um, It's pretty good. I'll upgrade it a little bit um, I imagine you uh, equip her with this you give her saw blades and uh Oh, I'm an idiot. Okay. Hold on. Sorry. Did forget to save after that. All right. Very stingy with my resources. I apologize. Okay. Um. Yeah, I'll get it up to here. I don't. I, don't, I think our own, the only non-elemental skill we have is is actually saw blade. We have saw blade, right? Yeah. Okay. There is. 
at least one other, one new non-elemental extra skill that we'll get later. Uh, I don't remember if there's a third one or not. But it would also apply to Annihilate. So potentially Ana can make decent use of it. Anyway, I digress. Also, here's the PlayStation console. Moving on. Here's the axe. What's in here? Okay, nothing of any major note. Okay, we've got the parents here. Uh, which one's the... <laughs> Can I read that again? The homeless tramp or the school shoot. That's one of my, one of my favorite bits of dialogue in this whole game. Alright. We do have a lot of steroids also that I forgot to use. Especially for Lance. Been accumulating those for a while. Okay. Uh, one of my favorite events coming up here. Mammoth coming out of the sky. I love that. Apparently that was in the original game, too. I somehow completely forgot about that. Um. Okay. Um. Explore a little bit this way. Got this puzzle. Uh, let me try and remember how this one goes. Uh-huh. Okay. I don't recall if this is right. This looks looks good to me. Yeah, right. Cool. Got the flare, silver cross, bad luck, uh, curse, and, and uh, dark resist. Some fights here. We got a mimic. Now that I've set the precedence of at least looking at the mimic battles, let's go ahead and hop into this one. Uh, what is this? Okay, this we can we can do this one. Uh, this is actually the one exception, I think, to you being able to capture the retro foes are, um, the, oh, almost everyone's stunned now, okay, are, uh, Raphalasia's Flowers, which inadvertently do <laughs> does kind of spoil one of the bosses, but, you know, this update's been out for a while, that's fine. Um, or maybe, maybe the flowers are just in, who knows? That'd be really something. But anyway, yeah, you, you can't capture these guys, unfortunately. Um, not positive why. I, I guess the, the precedence is that, you know, if something has, like... If something is... If something's existence is dependent on something else, then you can't capture it. And some things that are... A lot of things that just come out of the ground, you can't. Um, but even that, neither of those rules are con completely consistent, anyway. Um, okay, what do we got for weakness? I think they're all... Yeah, they're all weak to wind. Wind is the only... The only shared weakness here. Um, now since we don't have to capture them, we don't have to. We don't have to care. We can just go all in on these guys. Uh, most of them are weak to fire, but of course the the froze here likes to inflict rain or cast rain, so they're all going to be wet. So it doesn't really help too much. Um, so yeah, this guy uses bio. He self destructs at a low HP. This one uses uh, summons rain clouds and uses ice attacks to set up freezes. Um, this one stuns. Uses electric attacks. Charges. And this one heals and casts some spells as we saw last time. So the same as they were in the in the fourth game, but just to just to summarize. Okay, not fantastic damage. Oh, cool! A counter attack to the heal. <laughs> I wonder if that counter always heals itself. It's actually interesting. Okay. All right. Oh, jeez. Not going great so far. You're stunned. I think all these guys are susceptible to... Yeah, okay. So these guys all can be stunned and frozen. Well, the froze can't be frozen. Which is <laughs> kind of fun to say, actually. But, uh, besides that... Uh, do we use a limit? I probably could. They're almost all weak to bio as well. Um... I think I just I might just want to leave and come back when I'm a little bit better prepared. Yeah, let, let me try that. I do think we can pull off these fights. I'm I'm gonna try and do most of the mimics, pretty much all the mimics as soon as we come across them. Now, um, I was avoiding them for a bit. Uh, yeah, I haven't even I haven't changed equips in a while, so let me see. Inferno is oh he does have a wind weapon, counter as a counter attack. Yeah, you know what? Let's try this. Steals items. I'm not going to use it enough that it, I think it's justified using an upgrade here. Oh, I didn't... Uh, 
I didn't give the new guys flares, did I? Nope, sure didn't. Alright. What's the accuracy situation on these guys? Matt could really use some accuracy here. You take this. Give Lance the fish. Because, why not? And just give him some other stuff that's not strictly that useful, but, you know. It's better than nothing. Better than nothing, at least. Um, Earth and Bio, mainly Sky Blossom. Let's try the Dark Tooth for now. Let's boost Fire, which is the most likely one to be useful here. Do we have no no Wind Weapon yet for, for Ana? None of these elements are particularly useful. Heaven's Voice is a strong weapon in, in general, though. And, um, I'm not actually positive which of these to use. I guess the steel buckler is pretty, pretty balanced, actually. All right, let's just try that. None of those elements are really going to help us in this fight, like, at all, so. Okay. That was actually, oh, no, okay. That's, that's really mostly okay. Okay. Mostly. Okay. No deaths, at least. Um, I just want to use his extra turn on something, so you can have her go to set a barrier. Now I'm going to switch in Lance, because I want to heal, and I'd also like her to get her turn, so let's do that. Oh, this shows a cosmetic change, also, that I'm not sure I ever showed. Um, with Lance's officer... I think it's with his officer getup. Uh, the, uh, the face mask is black and red, which is very nice. Um, those odds are not great at all. Let's, let's go for it, though. No. Okay. Still pretty decent damage, sir. I don't even think, no, it's not even weak to that. Okay. Yeah, that's quite strong. Let's have Matt. Let's have Matt give it a try. I don't have a wind attack for him yet. But the counter attack is nice. Let's counter right here, okay. Yeah, let's go for. Uh, let's just buff his attack first. He'll probably live. Alright, maybe not. Okay, it's a pretty nice counter attack at least. Okay, no, he's just gonna get bullied. No, he actually just got destroyed. All right, that's a, that's a little bit much. All right, I was a little heavy-handed with the with the blatant targeting. Um, all right. Yeah, I think it's limit time. Let's do. Do we have Matt Dawn? No. Okay. All right, bud. Yeah, just take out the healer first. Nice. That's probably the one I would have gone for next, anyway. Oh, maybe not. It's it's kind of annoying, but it's it's more of an inconvenience than anything. So it's, I'm I'll probably go for the stun flower, actually. I mean, inflicting wet really only benefits the stun flower, to be honest. It can freeze. It does some setups, but not really that devastating. Um, so we'll heal from it, but the stun is more likely to work. Oh, but so is the freeze. Hold on. 70%. No, it's just more likely to work. So. Alright. Unfortunate. Well. Nine lives then. And you can just do single target on. No, I mean, the, the Florin does a lot of damage, so let, let me actually focus on him, I think. Foe, you're fired. No, I did the suicide attack. Okay, that's fine. Out of the picture. Yep, so is Lance. White goblins will get you. Okay. No siphon on you. This is pretty much fine now. These these guys are not not 
some of the bigger threats that, that were in that were in the table here. Um yeah, let's do it. Why does that do so little damage? Seems weird. Let's uh Yeah, let's heal up some. Okay. This really does not do as much as that as much as that thing. Maybe I haven't upgraded his skills yet. I'll have to double check. Oh, okay. God. Alright. This is fine. He keeps telling himself. Can you, do, you, do you have what it takes to kill this guy? Not positive. 110... Uh... Okay. It's pretty much impossible to lose now. This guy really does jack shit on his own, so... This should be perfectly alright now. Okay. Casual 21 HP. That's fine. That attack doesn't do damage, despite what I always think it, think it should. Okay, so there was that. <laughs> Took quite a bit longer than I was expecting. Uh, let me check the likes of skills. Oh, the wind one specifically was not upgraded enough. Okay. Alright, alright, alright. That's my bad. These other fights, we'll do them a bit later. I just wanted to show off the Mimic, because uh, I like the Mimic fights. Uh, so, let's go ahead and do this puzzle. There's this. Uh, is this accessible yet? Oh, it's right. There's a chest here. But you'll see there's also something else back here. Um, this is another one of the pixel foes, which I'll be doing... <sighs> I haven't decided when I'll be doing the... the or, sorry, the arcade foes. Uh, is probably a better name for them. I haven't decided when I'll be doing those yet. Certainly not this time. Uh, there, there's like four I think we have access to now. Um, so there's quite a lot of ground to cover there. Let me just solve this little puzzle that, of course, some of you may remember was in the map demo way back when. Uh, I think this is... Oops. This is so far correct. Yeah. This all seems good. Alright, so I was expecting to do some of the backtracking this time, but we may actually just exclusively explore Greenwood this time, which is... Just unnecessary, which is uh, perfectly fine by me. There's there's a lot there's a lot to cover. Once you beat Lance, there's really a lot of stuff that you can do. So much stuff. Oh, the Heaven's Gate. Okay, this is still a very good. Well, actually, now that I think of it, I actually I don't have this weapon yet in an equip remix or in my Twitch run. Um, holy damage it weakens, purging flames. So this is actually a mixed attacking weapon now. Um, let me save just in case. In case I don't like what I'm seeing. Defending gives auto revives. That's pretty valuable. Wow, that's that's a high weekend chance too. Let's let's take a look. Yeah, 150% for a three turn weekend. Um, so if you do something like legend, um, you know, you do a bunch of damage. Actually, the damage output of this weapon is pretty low. This is more of a defensive weapon, if anything. Um, you get immunity to good stuff. But if you do like a legend, you could potentially get, you know, all the damage you get from that. You, get th you can get three turns a weekend, which you're pretty likely to get, actually. And you'll get Purging Flame, which will do more damage and will dispel. So, it's pretty pretty solid, actually. The damage, I do think, is going to be lacking, however. But, Holy Weapons from Matt are historically quite good. And you get Immunity to Holy, which is nice. So, all in all, it's pretty good. I don't know how long it'll be until I really use it, so we'll, we'll leave it at this level for now. But it's not that often that you find things that have that high of a chance to weaken, especially this early in the game. So, yeah, it's not too bad. Uh, there's a hidden, yeah, there's this hidden thing here. We got the shop, which of course we can rob blind. Uh, we got the, the top right, which I have to go look at. Uh, which doesn't have, I don't think, much that we're going to spend any time with for now. Let's go ahead and take a look. 
there's an I believe the entrance for another arcade foe up here, which is noteworthy. Um, it's being guarded by this cat. It's this up. It's this up here. So I'll go ahead and mark that. Uh, we'll probably finish clearing out the enemies in this area later. Um, probably next time. Actually, there's all these all these enemies lying around, but I just want to get the exploration done. Get all, see all that we can while we're here. Um, and then next time we'll probably do fighting a bunch of... We gotta fight the bushes, which are now, uh, the, the red bushes. Uh, which is kind of interesting. I don't actually, I don't actually remember what we have in our equip shop here. Let me, let me quickly remind myself what we got. Okay. Alright. Um... I'm gonna start buying some of these. Just kind of systematically here. Buy everything up to the eight that well. Yeah, alright, we'll get a gun. Just because Lance has like no guns. And this is cheap, so let's actually buy that too. The Alchemist bow is quite good. Nimbus Rod is not that good, I don't think, so I'm not gonna bother with that for now. Um uh. Rock. There yeah, okay, those are actually investigatable. Okay. You know what? It's it's gonna it's gonna bug me. Let's just buy the damn Nimbus Rod. I don't think it's that good, but we'll, we'll buy everything at the 8k price range. Um, all right. Well, I bought them, so now I better look at them. <laughs> okay. It's very easy to get sidetracked in this game, isn't it? Okay, Nimbus Rod. Water, still water. Uh, pretty similar, if not identical, resistances that you get from it before. Um. Water and holy, so it's got a little bit more versatility there. Randomly cast Sea Dragon, which is, I think, just a huge, huge damage water AoE. Probably has some side effect. Inflicts Chill, which is interesting. Um, it's okay. Nothing really groundbreaking here. Um, the Sea Dragon effect is notable, but so like I said, I'm sure it's very rare. So uh, This is a wind weapon that inflicts light, which is nice. Oh, and apparently it boosts water and ice, too. Okay, I'm curious now. Uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna buy the steel plates just to see what this does at level five. This this is already a weird weapon. Uh, okay. Low crap. Okay, so that's just free light potentially between turns to everyone. This is really weird. Only boosts HP and magic attack. It it boosts most of the elements that Lance is the worst at using. Which is useful, you know. Oh, that's a weird one, though. <laughs> that's a really weird weapon. Okay. <laughs> so that's I, I haven't seen that one yet. That one's that one's particularly unusual. So here we have the army set. Um, not particularly good. The stats aren't that good. The resistances are okay. Um, but increases the effect of buff skills. That's that's the main useful trait here. Healing and buff items is okay. Thrown items is not that useful. Um. I forgot, we already had the camo jacket. The camo jacket, as you can see, is pretty good. Healing spells, buff skills, and debuff skills. Combined, you get a double a double buff boost, I think. Yeah. You get a double buff boost, you get buffs to healing, healing items, and thrown items. Um, you actually get two boosts to thrown items. So thrown items might be pretty strong if you have both of these equipped. It's interesting. Not something I typically will go for. The jacket is, I think, a lot better than the, the helmet, but... Okay. Oh, is this a piece of armor that boosts multiple elements? That's not that common. Earth and wind. Um, defending gives good luck. Decent stats. Pretty cheap to upgrade, too. Uh, yeah, that's not too bad. It's kind of nice. Nurse. Nurse gear. Might as well just go all in on this. Um, defending boosts boost defense and magic defense by 80. That's pretty nice. HP boost. It doesn't do really anything else besides that. Besides immunity to a couple very deadly status effects, which is always desirable. There's, there's always some situations where immunity to instant death is like a must-have. <clears throat> okay, so you can already see that the nurse uniform is pretty strong. Healing spells, healing items, free medipack, decent stats, even a bit of offense, which is unusual. You're gonna get, again, immunity to some very deadly status effects. Um... 
I actually can't even crank out enough to buy this. Hold on. I just want to see what it does, man. Cut me a break here. Th this is this is a pretty strong one. I think I need to buy some coffees too. <laughs> oh, that's in the same shop. Sorry. Okay. Coffees. Uh... Okay. Nothing interesting at max level. This is a, this this last level up is actually pretty pretty unremarkable besides the full immunity to that stuff but uh overall actually some pretty good stuff from the from the equip shop there um as far as what i would actually want to upgrade nimbus rod i'll give it a couple level ups because it's cheap uh this is such a goofy weapon <laughs> there's really not a lot of cases i guess oh i didn't go over the alchemist bow alchemist bow is probably the best of the bunch um so you, of course inflict random status effect is still a thing but you'll see we're getting we're slowly building up towards a pretty solid defense debuff, and it itself gives a boost to debuffs. Um, at max level and with a with two other debuff gears, I believe you can get an uh, a full 80 physical defense debuff, which is great. You get immunity to great status effects. Um, at least some of the people in my in my chat really love this bow, so this is one I'll be trying to make some use of in this run. Um, that one's all right. Let's just upgrade some of this stuff a little bit. Sure. Nice uniform is pretty strong, honestly. I do like that one. Um, I think that was it. Okay. Oh, we hit the chest here. Yeah, yeah, building a house. I got it. Okay. So, wow, we still have a lot of stuff to do here. There's, there's so much to cover in Greenwood. I, I, I always forget just how dense this area is when you first, come, when you first arrive. Um. So the thief is here now, also. So that means that back in uh, Hope Harbor, we can also get the secret that's there. So let me go ahead and mark that on the map. Uh. Oh, am I using question marks for the arcade foes? All right. Um. Just put next there, I guess. Okay. We'll go. Obviously, we can't do much in, in here yet, so I'm just going to go ahead and loot this guy's house. Um, we need the ladder to be able to fully progress into his basement, so we'll just be leaving it alone for now. Some pretty good stuff here, but nothing to it. There's a newspaper, so you can now safely upgrade the, uh, the cardboard box hat, because now we have two newspapers instead of just the one. Um... Oh my goodness. Every time I'm about to end, I'm like, oh, hold on, this bit more. This guy actually has a quest, I believe, too. I don't remember if I picked that up. Um, let's re get Reflex. Uses the socks. This also, this, I, didn't, I never noticed this correlation. Once you complete that quest is when this opens up. Then you get a wooden key, and you get cow armor. And there's a silver bar in there, and there's a, there's a sheep. Hold on. Okay, we got armor now, too. Cow costume. Defending gives good luck. Defending gives regen. Um, let's see what that last level up is. Defending gives brave. Very strong trio of, of boost to give. Really solid stats. It, you know, it doesn't have a whole lot else going for it. Immunity to two elements is pretty nice. It's actually decent. It's better than I... I think it's definitely better than it was in uh, non-equip remix. Okay. One more... Small thing to note, I'm, I don't think I even can do anything. Well, I can actually do some stuff in the Rainbow River. Um, there's another Pixel Foe over here once we can reach it. We can't reach this for a little while. But there is another, or another Arcade Foe, sorry, uh, right here. So, just so you're aware, once you get the uh, the raft, we'll be able to get over there. Um, okay. <laughs> a lot to go over in these videos. That's going to do it for this video, though. Thank you, everyone, very much for watching. If you like this video, please like, comment, subscribe. All that good stuff. I said the video. I said my video a bunch of times. I didn't even go in the library. Oh, my God. There's so much to do. We'll do that. We'll do that another time. The library is its own dungeon now, so I, I really was not expecting to tackle that today. <laughs> oh, my goodness. If you like this video, please like, comment. I already said that. Jeez. Check out my Twitch channel. I stream Monday, Wednesday, Friday, 6 to 9 p.m. EST. EBF, Monday and Friday. Uh, multiplayer stuff on Wednesday. Next time, we're going to be finally doing some of the backtracking you can do once you have the axe and the hammer. There's a few things. I think we can clear up the debris here. 
Um, there's not a ton, honestly. The axe is mostly only even relevant, like, here onwards. But there's a few spots for the axe back here. Um, let me actually just mark a couple of these, if I remember. Uh, I think that's mostly it. Anyway. And at some point, we gotta finish clearing out Greenwood. We gotta go and do the... 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 The spooky cave under the equip shop here. We got the library to do. We got arcade foes. We got a lot to cover, and I'm not positive what I'm going to do in what order yet. So, let me know in the comments what you think I should do when. Um, thank you everyone for watching. I will see you guys later.